All right, hey, what's up guys? Riley here for becominganelectrician.com. If you guys like these videos, you guys can visit the website and sign up to the email list to be notified when I keep releasing these videos or when I write my articles. Today I want to talk about Klein Tools versus Greenlee as well as Milwaukee Tool and many other electrical tool companies. Now I got to be careful on the words I say because I know that some people are, are like they like Klein only all right or some people only like Greenlee. Um, for myself I'm not biased towards any company. What I realized over the years is that some companies specialize in certain tools better than other companies. For example I have these channel locks right so this is actually the brand channel lock for pump pliers or you know plumbers pliers. These are the 430 by channel lock. These have been my absolute favorite channel locks, right? So they're not by Klein, they're not by Greenlee. And I'm just gonna bring in some other tools as we go along here because I mainly wanna talk about pliers and side cutters and strippers because those are like the main tools that we're using as electricians. But sometimes we do have to use other tools as well, like you know, levels, tape measures, and stuff like that, okay? So I'll first start with the Greenlees. Now these were the first pair of pliers that I ever owned, okay? When I first started, the company offered me some, uh, you know, starter kit and I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know how to splice wires. I didn't even really know much about tools and they were great. I really, really liked them. They did me great to learn. Honestly, these were my favorite pliers in terms of just how they felt, in terms of how, you know, when I would splice. One thing to say about these Greenlees is that the insulation grips did start to come off even on like, so pretty much all of them did. Now, uh, I could have glued them back on, but see the problem with these side cutters is that they're straight side cutters, all right? So, so rule number one is understanding the type of tool you need. It's not that it's Greenlee, it's not that it's Klein, it's that we as electricians, we need the angled side cutter, all right? You can see that, right? This allows us to pull out staples. Okay, so I'll talk more about that in just a moment. So again, just to finish off, I think these pliers are great. I really, really like the insulation grips. Um, but over the years, I purchased some Kleins here. And you can see that the Klein insulation grip also has started to slide down, all right? So just like how these slip. And honestly, sometimes it was useful to pull off the insulation grip if you're doing slab and you can actually hit with this when you're knocking out uh, the Coraline boxes, you know, uh, plastic boxes. So it was actually really useful that way. And, um, but I really like the grips. They were, these are a great pair of pliers, all right? I know some people are kind of like, oh, Greenlee. I like them, okay? Same with the screwdrivers. These side cutters, it's not so much that, um, you know, it's Greenlee, it's the fact that they're straight and the, and the insulation grips did come off. So, you know, it was a little cheap, all right. Let's talk about the Klein pliers, all right? So this is really what Klein is known for, is their pliers. They are awesome. They are, you know, they feel a little bit, you know, straighter, a little bit more nimble, you know, just nice set of pliers. Now they do sell quite a few different types of pliers. You can get stuff with like crimpers, you can get the fish tape puller. Um, in my opinion, I just like this set of pliers. You can get the Journeyman series with the nice insulation grips, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. The side cutters here have the insulation grips. If I do this, uh, it's the Journeyman series 2000, or the Journeyman 2000 series. I used to always joke with people on the job site whenever they'd have it. It always sounds funny. But I actually liked these pliers being an electrician. These are nice and small. They're able to fit into your pocket, nice lightweight. They're pretty nimble, all right? Uh, and honestly, when these pliers have features like a fish tape puller and the crimper, it's, in my opinion, it's kind of a gimmick. A fish tape puller usually still does kink a fish tape, all right? And if you have the crimper down here, it's so annoying that if you're having to put it over the wire and crimp this way, if you're gonna get crimpers, I highly suggest just buying a, pet, um, a set of crimpers that have it right here and you'll be way happier. So in terms of the pliers, they're both great, all right? I like the insulation grips. I also really, really like the Kleins. As you can see, this insulation grip did start slipping too. So, you know, Klein Tools though is definitely is where I would recommend for your pliers though, you know. Now, here we have side cutters. Now, again, um, the Greenlees, the ones I got with the insulation grips were the straight head. And honestly, as an electrician, you wanna make sure you have the angled head. And that is because if you're gonna pull out staples, you have leverage, right? 
These are the Journeyman series uh, insulation grips and I really, really like them. Now you might be like, well, why didn't I get them for the pliers? Now, I just purchased these ones uh, as they were without the journeyman, you know, I guess at the time, maybe I didn't want to pay the extra money, but I really, really liked the pliers without the nice insulation grips. I just found that they're really nimble and they were just awesome for splicing my wires, all right? For the side cutters, I really, really did like the journeyman series grips. I'm sure that it would be good as well on the pliers, but again, I just kind of found it was a little bit more nimble. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is the tools you see here, so strippers as well as screwdrivers. I'll just quickly talk about the, screw, the screwdrivers. So as you can see, I have some Greenlees, I have a Klein screwdriver, I also have a DeWalt screwdriver. I really, really like the Greenlee screwdrivers. The problem I found with them over the years is that, you know, the actual markings, you know, they had no markings over time. How are you, how are you supposed to know what these are, you know? And it's just, I just wish there was some type of better engraving. But they were great, I enjoyed them, and it was just pretty much up to me to identify them, and I did enjoy the Greenlee screwdrivers. Uh, you can see the Klein tools here. Uh, it has a little bit better engraving, but again, it is still going away because this is one of the nicer screwdrivers. One of the things I tell you is that on a job site, you wanna be making sure that you have a finishing screwdriver, which nobody's allowed to touch but you, okay? And uh, this is also like a finishing screwdriver, but more for like uh, panel work and heavy duty kind of work. You don't use it for beading, even though it is a little bit beat up, but it's pretty clean considering. This is a solid screwdriver. Again, it's for heavy duty kind of work and it's been awesome. So Klein Tools and Greenlee have both been good here. I would like to see some better markings. Now, this is a DeWalt screwdriver I picked up over time. I think I lost my, uh, my Greenlee flathead. And this is just my typical, uh, if I need to tighten down a lock ring, right? And what I wanna say about this is like, this has been, this has felt like the cheapest screwdriver. Like every time I use this, I didn't enjoy it. I don't know why it's like the grips felt weird. They felt really kind of slippery and cheap. Uh, this always felt super short, um, but I never felt that when I was using the Greenlee or the Klein, all right? So I like I liked both of these, and again, this was just a cheap, I got them in a bundle. It does the job, right? Most of the time a tool is always gonna do the job, but what I'm trying to say is this just kind of felt cheap to me. Not to say that DeWalt's bad, it's just this style of screwdriver was kind of cheap. Okay, I wanna talk about the strippers now, cause, cause you know, I'm mainly talking about Klein versus Greenlee. You can see if you look here, so I'm gonna turn it the other way cause this one I cut through a live wire and I'll explain in a second. So if I do it this way, um, a little bit more fair. But you can see that these are like essentially the exact same strippers, okay? So this one has the spring in it, if I take the spring out. So, so some people uh, use strippers without the spring. Sometimes they always kind of felt it was just looser. They would just, able just to put it in their pocket. Um, but you can see that they both have the yellow tips and that's the type of stripper that I like. I told you in my other video with uh, the recommended tools for apprentice electricians. There's one with like the white tips and what it does is it just changes where, you know, um, the size of wire. So it just goes up one size. This is the size of wires that I was always used to using and this is what I recommend to you guys starting up. So all I'm trying to say is Klein Tools makes an awesome pair of strippers, the yellow ones here, as well as Greenlee. So, you know, in terms of either company, these have both been great. They both have the finishing screw cutters. One thing to mention is that you can see that the Greenlee, the uh, the writing did come off over time. I did have these longer, to be fair, but um, you can see that the writing is still quite legible here. On the back side, though, it is engraved on both of them. Right, you can see the engraving there, and you can also see the engraving here. So overall, I would see I would say that the Klein is maybe built a little bit better. I will tell you how I cut into this. Um, usually, usually I was always pretty good on a job site. I always had my volt tick on me, and I trusted somebody. So that's what happened here. And um, the thing is, as soon as this happens to your tools as an electrician, it's like these become so useless. Like, yeah, I can strip, but you know, you want to be able to strip and cut wires, and if you can't cut. It's just kind of like, I highly recommend just getting another set of strippers. Again, I always like the yellow tips. So again, Greenlee versus Klein. I would say Klein, you know, I guess wins here. 
but I really liked these Greenlee strippers. They were my favorite, just like for the pliers. I got them in the starter kit and these were by far my favorite uh, strippers. Um, what happened was I kind of dropped them into something gross and I never wanted to use them again. So that's where I got these and then I ended up um, blowing them out. All right, so the next tools I want to talk about here quickly, because again, this is about Klein tools versus Greenlee. But I just want to say that again, I'm not biased towards a company because over the years I have just discovered that certain companies make better tools. For example, this tape measure right here, Fat Max, by far the best tape measure I've ever used as an electrician. Before I do that, I just wanted to quickly talk about these side cutters again. So again, you can see that I had a pair of Klein side cutters. They were the angles. Um, again, I listened to somebody, I cut, and you can see the hole in there. As soon as you have a hole like this, I'm telling you, it is. these things are just useless because you can't cut through twine. When you go to cut your wires, there's always one wire that somehow ends up in the hole there. So again, it's not so much about, you know, Klein or Greenlee is better in this case. It's just that with these Greenlee side cutters, they're straight. As an electrician, you do not want a straight side cutter. You can see that I started with the non-journeyman series grips on the side cutters. Again, I blew them out. But as soon as I got the journeyman series for the side cutters, the comfort was honestly amazing. And you know, if you want to try it for your pliers, you can. So quickly with channel locks, all right? So I had a pair of Greenlee um, channel locks, but again, the grip started to fall off and it was just kind of annoying. I picked up a pair of channel locks. These are the 430s. These are awesome because they're able to go to two inch pipe. And honestly, these things are just, the insulation grips are, you know, nice and small. These have been amazing, all right? Again, I always tell you guys, you should be having at least two pairs of channel locks on the job site so that you can kind of tighten and loosen kind of thing, right? Now, these ones were by, by DeWalt. Uh, th these are kind of a finicky kind of, um, channel lock or you know a pump plier plumber's pliers uh, i have them taped because i must have been doing some finishing work um you know but you just push the button here and sometimes it you know these did come in handy because it has that kind of lock ring kind of uh connection and it was just kind of useful because sometimes you'd have both but what i'm just trying to say is this brand channel lock it specializes in channel locks. Like that's the name of the brand to the point where that's what we call them on the job site, you know? So all I'm trying to say is sometimes going with the brand that specializes in that type of tool is where it's at. I wanna quickly talk about these Allen wrenches, okay? So this is a Husky. Uh, I purchased these, you know, they're fine if you wanted to do some homeowner kind of stuff. I was using them on a job site, somebody borrowed one and like they, they, were, they were starting to use it uh, they were starting to tighten in the panel and this was starting to bend so hard to the point where where uh, the, the guy that was using it, we were joking around and, and he was calling the tool cute. You know what I mean? So a, a tool should never be called cute on a job site and we were always laughing around with that. But I want to say that Klein Tools, you could see that they also make a very similar one here to Husky, right? But definitely way more heavy duty. I wanna say I did not enjoy this Allen key set by Klein Tool, Klein Tools. The reason is because they were so short. These things are so short. And I searched for so long to get a metal set. All right, so again, these are by Klein. These is where, are where it's at if you're gonna get some Allen keys. You can see just like the length difference. And so all I'm saying is Klein Tool makes this but this thing is like, it's so, it's almost like a, a stubby Allen key set. So at the right time, this thing could be useful, but in general use, the metal one is where it's at. You can see it's way longer, okay? So that's what I'm trying to say, that it's all about knowing the right tool for the job, not so much the company. All right, guys, so closing out, you know, pretty much this is, this is the set right here for you to get an amazing experience as an electrician, okay? They are by Klein Tools. So I do give Klein Tools definitely the win. Uh, Greenlee is awesome, I do enjoy them, but Klein Tools definitely was you know, the winner. Milwaukee Tool is also a very good brand you could look at. I personally do like them for the power tools. I've always found their hand tools to be, they're innovative, but as an electrician, you know, innovation's cool, 
but we also need it to be practical as well. And I always kind of found whenever I used other people's Milwaukee tools, it was just always kind of, it wasn't a climb. All right. Now, again, it is a tool. It is going to get beat up. Now, again, this right here, this is my fault, but you can see that, you know, the installation grip did start dropping on this, but these have been an awesome pair of pliers and these side cutters have been the best side cutters I have ever used. All right. The nice journeyman series grip. But one thing I do want to say is again, when a company is mass producing tools, you're not always gonna get a great tool out of the company. Now, as you can see, these are a different color of a uh, handle. So again, these are kind of more of a lighter blue. These ones allow you to cut through screws. So the metal is hardened and it just allows these things to be so good on a job site because sometimes we gotta cut a screw, right? Fit with these pliers, you do not wanna be cutting through a screw, a screw because it, you know, they are not the hardened steel. But what I want to say is check this out. I did purchase these. I didn't have time to ever return them or get them fixed or whatever, but out of the package, these things are like seized. All right. And I, again, like I said, I didn't have the chance to, um, ever take them back. I bought them in like a little starter kit. I found it like a Home Depot came with uh, a couple different tools. I think it came with like side cutters, this one, and one other tool, but you can see that like, these things are brand new. I never really got a chance to use them and they're just so hard to open, okay? You know, where's something like this, like this is, this is where it's at, it's nice and loose. It feels so good in your hand. Uh, so again, I really suggest it's worth paying the extra money for this type of um, plier. It allows you to cut through screws. I don't like the ones with like the fish tape puller and the crimper and stuff like that. I just like a basic pair of pliers i found that this was just awesome okay but again i just want to share that you know uh you know when a company makes products at a mass scale you're not always going to get um you know like look i, I can i can barely even open that with my with my hands now again i could have taken this back i could have got another pair of pliers that's just me again being lazy but this right here, this, this is the setup if you are looking to be an electrician for uh, your main kind of hand tools, right? You're stripping your wire, you are splicing your wire, and then right here, if you are pulling twine and stuff like that, side cutters is where it's at. Or even if you are uh, residential, you're stapling and you have to remove a staple, the angled head is where it's at. So moral of the story is essentially what I'm trying to say is Sometimes you don't know what is a good tool until you really start trying it. I'll take these out of here because again, this is my fault. Like it being seized is not my fault, but it's my fault for not uh, being diligent and going and returning it. But for example, even these two tools by Klein, these two Allen keys, this set is amazing. This set, you know, I was just like, man, like they're so small. Like you couldn't, you couldn't get it into the lug very good to tighten sometimes. And it just always left me kind of like either, uh, you know, having to borrow someone else's tool until finally I was able to find a set. Cause these were really hard to find sometimes. Um, but again, it's just all companies in this electrical industry, they all make, you know, they all specialize in their own industry. All right. If you're looking for some channel locks, this is where it's at right here. Like this is what I always enjoyed. I really enjoyed always having a pair of these as I was bending pipe. It just allowed for such an amazing workflow for, uh, you know, if you wanted to tighten down your connector, you know, you're able just to just tighten it down so easy. So, you know, if you're just getting started up, you are gonna find the tools that you like to use, but I hope this kind of gives you an idea that, you know, Klein Tools definitely is the leader Greenlee also makes some great tools. I really, really enjoyed my time with them. When I did get to experience Klein, yeah, I felt the experience was better as an electrician. Uh, but at the end of the day, the moral of the story that I wanted to get across to you was that buying the, the, you know, the company that specializes in the certain tools, for example, this tape measure, this is where it's at. No other company that I've tried can match up to Stanley Fat Max. I personally do like the 16 foot. It's nice and light, perfect when you're on the ladder, you know, just trying to find center of a light in a condo, in a bedroom, 16 foot fat max, amazing, okay? They're nice and thick. They don't break on you like as if you're pulling it out so you can get nice good length. And so, you know, Klein Tools and Greenlee and Milwaukee Tool, 
this is where it's at for tape measure, okay? For pump pliers, you know, channel lock. These DeWalt's, they're okay, they do the job, but it's not like the channel lock. Uh, when it comes to, again, like the pliers, Greenlees uh, were close, I did like them, but the Klein tools did have that Klein tool feel. That's what they're known for, they're Klein tools in the electrical industry, right? These, uh, now, just quickly to talk about, you know, these nice insulation grips to the Greenlease. So for example, you can just kind of see uh, the insulation grips. These ones are a little softer. They're a little bit more cushiony. As I said, I really, really liked these Greenlee pliers, uh, but these side cutters with the Journeyman series grips, awesome, all right? So again, at the end of the day, it's all up to you. It's your money, what you're gonna buy. Hopefully this gives you some insight to tools you can be purchasing as an electrician. Klein Tools definitely make some awesome tools, but not every single tool by Klein do I recommend. Uh, but the ones I've shown in this video and what I've said on them, you know, I would definitely look into that. So again, if you guys have any questions, you guys feel free to visit me at becominganelectrician.com. My name is Riley. And uh, if you guys ever have questions or would like me to write an article or create a video on something, um, just let me know.